Hey, hello everyone, welcome. Let's uh, continue with the Hermetic's journey. All right, when you're working with the, the elements, in Franz Baden's book, he works primarily from the level of imagination, uh, the, th the three sense concentration exercises on the color, the, the feeling, and uh, bring those feelings into the body through the poor breathing process. And the, the vital breathing is actually taught afterwards. And he doesn't have any mechanical descriptions. So his method is mental, focus in on the qualities to generate an astral sensation and then tune the astral sensation to manifest as a physical a feeling of heat, coolness, magnetism, floating, sinking, and so forth. So it's a method from the mental into the astral into the physical, his teaching approach. Now, the teaching approach I recommend is actually opposite to that first, and then move from the top down second. So what I suggest is focus the willpower on the breath, breath in the stretch, and then condense the breath outside the body to activate more life force, and to get your spirit senses to wake up outside the body, so that you accumulate life force, then separate that life force into electric and magnetic body mechanics, so you get fire and water, which are the only two true elements, and then get separation to what the principle of air is by tuning the fascia to buoyancy and lightness, and then tuning the mind into gravity and the feeling how it acts on the body and mechanically hang the muscles and create the earth element. Once you've got that separation of life force into the four elements, from there I suggest you bring it into mental quality to accumulate and refine it in the astral body and this is a type of alchemy and refinement of an idea with your mind. You refine the, the, the mental qualities, you start applying mental transference into places of power like a volcano, you walk up to the top of the volcano, you feel the rocks and the molten lava underneath, try to look at the molten lava if you, if you can, and then tune your mind to it, vital breathe that frequency and build fire element purely from the physical frequency and environment that you're in. This type of training principle gives very fast results. So we're talking about hours of training and vital, hours and separating into electric and magnetic, and hours of air and earth, and then being in places of power where those, those frequencies are amplified so your mind can tune in, and then you work from the top down to produce the elements in a much more profound physical way at very, very high speed. What this will do is allow anyone who doesn't have a high concentration capacity in the mental body to develop the elements. If you're going from the top down, it is only available to people who are masters of concentration. And this is why Barden often says, I oh, don't move on to the next exercise until the previous exercise is mastered. Because in some cases like this, you can't develop his method of the elements without a very high level of concentration. But if using body mechanics, astral mechanics, and mind mechanics and psychology of the four bases of power, you can get the results very, very fast. So you can fast track your progress by addressing the, the physical, addressing the astral, addressing the mental, and then syncing them all up to get a result. Uh, very different process. In the end, we use Barden's, Barden's methods later, but there's a big percentage of people that will fail with that method off the start. So I suggest uh, doing the Qigong approach first by looking at mechanics uh, on all those three levels and activating an amplification of the elements. And use, use things like an ice bath to force your body to heat itself and then tune into how your body heats itself so it doesn't die and then amplify that heating mechanism to build a fire element. And uh, uh, these types of uh, environmental triggers can, can trigger uh, an ease with which to build each of the elements. All right, so I hope that sort of gives you a sort of a little bit of a, a bit of theory into differences and different methods of approaching the elements. And uh, when you start breaking down how you're going to address fire, air, water, and earth, 
clearly define the body mechanics, the feeling mechanics, and the mind mechanics. And I've clearly defined those in a lot of other videos, so I don't need to go through them again on this one. But if you do have any specific questions, uh, let me know, and uh, I'll redo those videos from different angles again for you, so you can get more depth into the uh, uh, element and element magic work. Okay, thanks for your time, and we'll see you in the next video.